because in this one we're looking at a mix of Aerial Maps exam questions involving summations with sequences and series. So download the questions and both of these pages are in here too. And let's go. That we want to show that the sum from RS1 to 16 of 3 and 5R add 2 to the power R is 131,798 good times. Alright, so the way that we're going to do that is by splitting the sum into an arithmetic part and a geometric part. And I'm also going to use N instead of R. That's because we need R in the geometric sum. Alright, so. In the arithmetic part. Is 3 and 5 N. Alright. So we need the first term and the last term. So the first term is 3 and 5, so that's 8. And the last term is when n is 16. So that's going to give us 3 and 5 times 16. So that's 83. So the sum to 16 is 16 over 2 times the first and last term. So 8 and 90. Sorry, 8 and 83. Now that gives us 728. Alright, so now we need to do the geometric part. So that's 2 to the n So for this we need the first term and the common ratio. So A is 2 to the power of 1, so that's 2. Now the second term would be 2 squared, so 2 times 2. Third term, 2 to the power 3, so 2 times 2 times 2. So our common ratio of R is also 2. Alright, now our sum to 16 is then 2 times 1 minus 2 to the 16. over 1 minus 2. Now that gives us 131,070. So, we then just need to add our two sums together. So, 131,070 add 728 is indeed 131,798 good times.
A two, a sequence, a one, a two, a three, etc. is defined by u n and one is one over u n and u one is two thirds. Find the sum of the first one hundred terms. Alright, so if u one is two thirds, u two is one over it. So one over two thirds is three halves. Now that means u three is one over three halves. So that's two thirds. And that is going to carry on forever. So all that we want is, so we want the sum of the first 100 terms and all it's doing is going two thirds, three halves, two thirds, three halves. So half the terms are going to be two thirds, half the terms are going to be three halves. So the sum is uh, well, let's call it S100 So it's just going to be 50 times 2 thirds and 50 times 3 halves Now that is going to give us uh, 325 thirds. Number two, part one. Find the value of the sum from average four to uh, infinity of 20 times one half to the power r. All right, so this is geometric. So we need R for our sum. So where they have R's, I'm going to use N. So we want the sum from N is 4 to infinity of 20 times 1 half to the N. Alright, so that's going to be the complete sum to infinity minus what we don't want. So we don't want the first three terms. So it's the sum to infinity minus the sum to three. Alright. Now the sum to infinity, well for that we need a and r, so a is 20 times 1 half, so that's 10, and we're multiplying by 1 half to get from term to term. So R is one half. So the sum to infinity is ten over one minus one half. And that gives us twenty. Now the sum to 3 is easy enough to work out. That's just 10 and 5 and 2.5. So the sum to 3 
is 17.5 so then we just need to do 20 minus 17.5 so we can say the sum to infinity minus sum to 3 is 20 minus 17.5 and that is 2.5 to show the sum from n is 1 to 48 of log base 5 n r 2 over n r 1 is equal to 2. Alright, so let's write down some terms in this sequence. So we can say the sum to 48 is going to be, so the first term is going to be a log 3 over 2. And then we're going to have a log of 4 over 3. And then we're going to have a log 5 over 4. So, that's going to carry on until we get to the final term which is going to be log of 50 over 49 all right now when we add logs Together, we multiply the insides. So this is actually a log base 5 of 3 times 4 times 5 times all the way up to times 50. And on the bottom, we have 2 times 3 times 4 times all the way up to times 49. Alright, now, because that's a fraction inside, we can cancel out common factors. So, between the top and the bottom, there's a common factor of 3 times 4 times 5 times all the way up to times 49. So this is actually a log base 5 of 50 over 2 which is a log base 5 25 now that is saying what power must we set 5 to to get 25 so that's 2. Done. Alright, final question. So B of n is the sum from k is 0 to n of k cubed. So that's the sum of all the cube numbers up to n cubed minus the sum from k is 0 
two and minus one of k cubed. So that's subtracting the sum of all the cube numbers up to n minus one cubed. So this whole thing is actually just n cubed. And Parte wants us to find b of 3 and b of 10. So again, b of n is actually just n cubed. So, b of 3 is 27. And b of 10 is 1000. And then that b solve b of n is 1.25 times 10 to the power 8. All right. So again, we know b of n is just n cubed. And the right hand side is 1, 2, 5 with 6 zeros. So 125 million. And then just cube root both sides. We get n is 500. Guys, that's everything I have on sequences and series for now. I hope it's helped so far. Let me know what topics you want done like this down below in a comment. For now, take it easy, take care.